Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my Walgreens couponing haul for the week of 1.6 through to 1.12. I've had about a month off at least from Walgreens just because the deals haven't been there and I didn't feel like going in just to do out-of-pocket deals um, that I really didn't need stuff for. This week I only went in uh, in the first place to get paper goods because I needed them at home. I'd run out of paper towel and I was down to my last few rolls of toilet paper and I knew there were usually better deals on paper towel at Walgreens than at CVS. And I knew we got new coupons on the Scott products in today's um, Smart Source. And I also knew of one other deal in the ad that I thought was good, um, was okay, um, I should say, sorry, before this morning. And then this morning we got excellent saving star rebates on Advil, Dimatap, and Robitussin. So let's get into it. Let me show you the deals I did. Sorry as I lean in and grab my receipt. So what I, ended up, what I got today at uh, Walgreens was I did uh, two paper deals um, because I needed the products so that is why I've got this many you definitely don't have to do these it actually ended up working out great because I forgot I had a points booster attached to my card and it ended up making everything free so I picked up two of these Scott paper towel these are five dollars and it is the 12 big rolls and I picked up um, two of the uh, so that was the toilet paper this is the paper towel um, the six roll they're also five dollars so four of those was twenty dollars we have a dollar and 25 cent off coupon in the January Walgreens savings book and that comes off each item so that took off five dollars bringing it down to 15. I had four of the 50 cent off coupons from today's uh, smart source two of the paper towel and two of the toilet paper so that took off another two dollars bringing it down to 13 dollars and then I got a dollar back on Ibotta for one of the paper towels making it um, 12 dollars out of pocket or what is that four dollars each so um no, that's not right. $3 each. I can't wipe my mouth, guys. $3 each. So I was definitely happy with that deal. Um, and then, as I said, it ended up becoming even better with the points booster I forgot about. So $3 for each of those products if you don't have any points boosters. The other deals are all um, mix and match deals with the cold and flu products. The cold and flu products, most varieties are buy two, get 3,000 points at the moment. Sleep products from Advil, Robitussin, and Dimatap are on sale for $5.99. We got $3 off manufacturer coupons in today's Retail Me Not. We have Saving Star rebates, $3 for Dimatap, $3 Advil, and $3 Robitussin. Plus, we also have Ibotta rebates. We have $2 back on the Advil and $2 back on the Dimatap. So there's lots of great scenarios you could be doing here, but I'm going to show you what I did. I did two of each. So for the Advil, which is probably the best deal, um, the Advil's these ones here. So it is the multi-symptom cold and flu 10 count. They're on sale for $5.99. So you pick up two, that's $11.98. I used two of the $3 off coupon from today's Retail Me Not. That brings it down to $5.98. For buying two, you get 3,000 points and you can roll points because it is a buy promotion. That would bring it down to $2.98. I got $3 back on Saving Star for this one, making it a two cent money maker. And then I, on Ibotta, we have $2 back on these ones and you can submit for, I think, up to five. So I got one for each one, or $2 for each one, I should say. I said $4 back. So that made these two, two of these, a $4 and two cent money maker. Fabulous. Similarly, we have the Dimatap. The Dimatap, it's basically the same deal. Uh, $5.99 each, so two for $11.98. Two of the $3 off coupons, making them $5.98. Uh, getting 3,000 points back for buying two, making it $2.98. $3 back on Saving Star, making it a two cent money maker. And there is also an Ibotta rebate for $2 on each of these. I think up to three or four. So I picked up $2 for each one, so $4, making it a $4 and two cent money maker. Really easy. And I picked up the nighttime cold and congestion because my store was pretty much wiped clear already this morning of um, Dimatap, Advil, and Robitussin. I just picked up what I could get. The Robitussin is not quite as good, but it is still free after the Saving Star rebate. The Robitussin is also $5.99, so two is $11.98. Use two of the $3 off coupons from today's inserts, making it $5.98. Get back 3,000 points for buying two, making it $2.98. And then we have that $3 saving star rebate, making it free, um, two for free when you buy these two. So for me, my total was $55.94. I had uh, $5 in that IVC come off, making it $50.94, and then $20 worth of manufacturer coupons, $18 towards the cold and flu, and $2 towards the paper goods. That made it $30.94. I paid $2.80 tax, so I paid $33.74. I honestly had completely forgot about the points booster. Um, I had 4,000 points sitting in my account, so I did use those to pay, which brought it down to, um, what, $29.74. However, um, I still was well and truly above the spend threshold anyway. So what I ended up getting back, let me show you the receipt first. Um, let's see, I don't think you're gonna be able to read that because it's clear behind. 
all my manufacturers coupons came off there I have as my 33.74 minus my 4,000 points redeemed. I paid 29.74 on my card. And then where is the down here? What I ended up getting back. So I got 400 and, uh, what is that, 60 or 80 everyday points. And then my bonus points, as you can see, I got 20,000 points back. I got three sets of 3,000 on each of the um, cold and flu for each two. So that's 9,000 points. I got 7,000 points for that digital points booster I forgot I had, which was a tw spend 20, get seven. So that brought it up to 16,000 points back. And the extra 4,000 points is because it's my birthday month and I get 10 times my everyday points. My everyday points was 400 and something. So then I got 4,000 points. So that's how I ended up with 20,000 points back. So um, if you take off the 20,140 points, which is the equivalent of $20.14, I got, it brings it down to $13.60 for everything. I'm getting $9 back from Saving Star, which brings it down to $4.60 for everything. But I've also already got my $9 back from my Botter, from the Advil, the Dimatap and the Scott, which makes it a $4.40 money maker for everything after tax. I was thrilled with that because I was expecting to go in and just pay for my paper goods. Found out about the cold and flu deal um, this morning when the Saving Star rebate came out and um, wasn't sure how many I was gonna do. Didn't know about the Ibotta rebates. I saw that on Instagram somewhere. Um, and so it ended up being a fabulous deal. Paid for everything I um, got at Walgreens today. And it also covered my small out of pocket I ended up paying at CVS. So basically I paid nothing today for everything I got in terms of my final cost. Yes, I paid money in store on my card and each thing I paid, as you saw, $30 at um, Walgreens, but I got points back, I got rebates and all those sorts of things. So that was my um, Walgreens haul for this week, guys. I'm hoping to try and get back more often to Walgreens. I'm still gonna do my weekly ad preview for you when I remember. Um, it's just the deals haven't been there that often for me. Now I have some points to spend. Maybe you'll see me there more often, but hopefully if they stick to deals like this in the new year, um, it's gonna be worth going more often. So that was my video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share or comment below. If you've not yet done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you've got that bell icon clicked so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.